Can you Sorry. show me, just show me what you're working on. Hold it up. I compiled a couple of things and this is what I got. Yep. Good. I All tried right. to think with, about um, one line only and not get my marker off. My marker off. Mm -hmm. Trying to keep it very yep. simple. But at the same time, yes. I like to look at all the details of like the curves, the shading, or any of the disconnecting parts. So like the okay. screws and the bottle stuff, because this is like I use that sanitizer and mm. glue, bottle of sriracha that I had. Yeah. I have that in my room, <laughs> and I yeah. just compiled it. Um, and yeah. Can I keep okay. It? Sounds good. All right, sounds good, everyone. So everyone, there's 18 minutes left. Okay, so I'll stop there. So um, there's my, you know, what I, I was sort of doing. So, um, you know, I was just looking at the, I just did, I did this pretty quickly, just to sort of give the rough example, but, you know, black areas, add the contrast between the shapes to help with the abstraction no altering shapes like the pot here so you know, altering those shapes in there as well um yes yeah hi it's just uh just pop your video on and trust what you've done okay uh please wait yep good so you got it looks like a computer and um uh, a cup and a notepad and a pencil and something else. Is that a lamp? Uh, yes. Yes, yes. good. Good. Yeah. Okay. Some. It looks like a water uh, a water bottle or something like that. Yeah, it's a water mm. bottle. Mm. Yep. And a, a box and a, a yeah. pen. Yep. Yeah. Okay, good, yeah, nice and simple. Good. So, this is what I got. Um, so I have sort of the basic shapes and the things that I like when I was doing. And then yep. I was thinking of making another one. And I mm. ended up doing that. Yes. I want to have a contrast between the negative and, and the positive. So yes. I also wanted to show that it was on a table. And uh, my table has like a black mat thing on it. So I okay. want to do that. Yep. Um, and I also wanted to show like simplicity still. So I left it to the very basic. I also have a candle on my, um, mm. uh, what's it called, my desk. And so yes. I want to that. And so yep. I try to keep it very simple. Good. That's good. Dude. Obviously, the black and white figure grounds yeah. is important uh, in something like this. Two, for these two, they're uh, made out of glass. That's why you mm. this overlaps it. And yep. Yeah. Good one. Okay. Good. Uh, Lind Lindley, are you there? Yes. Hi. I listened to you use uh, uh, yeah, that's shape the drawing. Yeah. Yep. No, that looks good. Just so everyone else can see what Lindley's done. So yeah, so that's good. That's a good example to just the sim simplicity and the using the figure ground, the white between the black and white areas, the positive and negatives. Good one, Lindley. That's good. Good example. Thank you very much. Come on, yes, when you're ready. So, this is my final design. Yeah, great. I yeah. don't know if you can see because there's like a bit of shade. <laughs> no, I, I, I can see it. I'm, I'm sure okay. that other students can see um, it. My design is, the typeface that I've used is Medusa Gothica. And I use this design because it both represents elegance, um, it represents tradition, but at the same time, it represents the allure that Egypt has, not just for tourists, but people that have lived in the country and people that have not lived in the country for long. Um, I didn't I didn't spread it out. I made it right in the center, compact together. And uh, there is a huge contrast between negative and positive space. The negative space, example, the white, represents other people, and, and not other people, the space that I have between me and others, the barrier that I have between me and others. And the actual typeface, which is almost like an heirloom, represents me. I'm right in the center, but I don't feel like I'm there. And um, the 
this typeface and my design not only represents my emotions towards my country, but it represents my country as a whole and the people that generally live in it. Um, I even asked my mother if she felt the same way and some, she told me that despite having lived there, she also felt the same way. Um, and yeah, that's, that's my yeah. sign. Lovely. Very good. Very confident. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Very good. Yeah, yeah. So I've made you presenter. So, um, yeah, if you want to upload a file or if you've just got something you want to hold. Yeah. So from my uh, hometown city, it's... Um, Great. Yeah, um, it's good. So um, five words about my city. It's um, um, Asian, Asian, historical, colourful, crowded, and motorbike. Um, yeah. And the typeface that I chose is um, by Chancery. Um, which is have like um, syrups, yeah. which um, bring the softness and um, Asian feeling, which um, suit uh, the old city, like kind of like. Um, and mm -hmm. if you can see here, I um, there's like a, an emphasis um, from the letter H, H, and also hierarchy uh, from like the H to the N and to the A and to O and I. Um, you want need to show you like the collage and things. No, that's like okay. uh, we can you've, you've got the collage in your final design, so that's fine. Okay, that's good. Thank you. That's great. Thanks. Thanks, Marvis. All right, Carolyn. Okay, when you're ready. So this is my yeah, this is my final piece. Yeah. Um, right. um I roll like uh uh, describe my home city Hangzhou. So, yeah. uh, first, I will describe it as a modern city. So, um, now Hangzhou has a lot of modern buildings, and uh, I think uh, there's a lot of job opportunities in Hangzhou, especially the internet industry, because um, Jack Ma is from my home city Hangzhou, and his company Alibaba is take place in Hangzhou, so there's a lot of job opportunities. And second, I will introduce, uh, I will describe my home city as a historical city. Um, my hometown Hangzhou was the capital of Song Dynasty, and um, there's a lot of his, uh, interesting historical stories about my home city. And the reason why um, I choose this typography and to represent my home city is that my home city Hangzhou is a, a modern city and I think the shape of this typography uh, is very sharp so it looks very modern and um, I think um, uh, the letter H, H, U and O um, can represent the modern buildings in Hangzhou because uh, I think that will be all. Okay, that's great. Good one. That's great. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, Ryan. So, this is like my, my, my rough idea. Yes. And like these two. Yes. And I chose um, this one. Okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah, great. Looking good. Good one. Looking good. So what you, what you should do now is think about the, the size of your final design, which will be... I'm just going to fold this paper, you know, so it's kind of that kind of size. You see that there. So, so what you could do is take, like, draw, think about where the player is going to go. Um, you know, is it going to sit in the middle, or is it going to sit, you know, on the left or, or what side? And and keeping in mind that's the kind of format, that rectangular format, um, then you can look at it and think, does it need any extra um, 
information around there? Uh, maybe not. It may not, but that's just something to think about. You know, like where the player sits, does it need any design or shapes on the other side? Uh, you, it's something to try. It may not need it, but you could just try that if you wanted to try that out. Yeah, so, so but it's looking good. Good. Yeah, okay. Really good. Take some um, take some photos and 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 um, email it. Email me through. Okay. Yeah. 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 You choose. Yeah. 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 I can just have a look and just okay. just give you some closer feedback. But, what you've shown me there is looking looking good. It's really good. I'm impressed. Thank you. Right. Okay. Good. Yeah. It's looking good. I like the the one in the bottom uh, right. That's looking good. Uh, the one below. Yeah. The one in the yes. Yes. Yep. Okay. <laughs> So it's starting to abstract. You're, that's, you're starting to take elements out, but I can still see that it's it looks like a swimmer, so that's good. Okay. And and the thing is, you might like take you take parts out, and then you might find you might add some elements back into it as well. So that's the option too.